Have you ever had that heavy, sinking feeling in your gut when you wake up on a weekday? The one that makes it so hard to get out of bed and go to work. <laughs> there I was, getting ready to go to my corporate job as a lawyer, knowing deep down this wasn't just another bad day. I had been feeling this way for months. The work I was doing, it was fine on the surface, but inside, I felt my spirit wilting away. I felt like I was wasting my potential. And I couldn't help wondering, is this what I'm supposed to be doing? And even more, should I quit my job? When I finally made the decision to quit, I was terrified but hopeful. I had no clear plan or roadmap for what would come next. I wasn't even sure I would return to the corporate world. But one thing I knew for sure, I wanted purpose. And so began a three-year deep dive into what a purposeful, meaningful career truly looks like. By the end of this talk, I hope you will see purpose not as something you chase in a specific career, but as something you bring to any career you choose. So what I've come to learn is that it's not the role that brings you purpose, but it's you who brings purpose to the role. It's the way you show up in whatever career you're doing. So I'm sure some of you can think of people who have jobs that save lives or impact communities, but they still don't feel fulfilled and they wonder if there's uh, another career or business out there for them. A great example of this is Basim Yusuf, uh, who some of you may know as the Egyptian American comedian and television host. Did you know that he started out as a heart surgeon? Saving lives, what could be more meaningful than that? But it didn't fully align with him, and so he switched to comedy. And while comedy doesn't seem as meaningful as surgery, it allowed him the space to use his strengths, express his passions, and make the impact that he wanted to make. In short, it gave him the space to show up with purpose. So the question becomes, how can I show up with purpose in what I do? Allow me to share three ways with you today. The first way is to lean into, lean into your natural strengths, your personal qualities, what makes you you. This is the key to a fulfilling role. No matter how important or impactful a job might seem on the outside, if it doesn't allow you to use your strengths on a daily basis, it won't feel purposeful to you. Now, a job that works with your strengths doesn't mean it'll be easy and without the challenges, but it means you'll be able to show up as your best self every day, you'll be able to feel in flow and to enjoy what you do. So for me, one of my core strengths is my love of learning. When I quit my job, I spent 90% of my time immersed in learning. I got a second master's degree in psychology, took countless courses, and invested in expanding my coaching skills. I'm what you would call a full-time nerd. So when I re-entered the corporate world, I made a promise to myself to be in a role where I could always embrace my love of learning, where I'd feel constantly challenged to grow, and where learning was valued and prioritized or where my nerd self could flourish. And by aligning my strengths with my work, I was able to bring purpose to my career, and it has made all the difference. The second way you can show up with purpose is to integrate your life experiences into what you do. So usually we think that we should come to our careers as blank slates, or we shouldn't bring our personal life experiences to the workplace, it might not be professional but your life experiences can show you how to make your work more purposeful. A while ago, I had the opportunity to meet a prominent US lawyer who leads one of the largest law firms in the world. Her reputation preceded her and her team couldn't stop singing her praises. She's amazing, they said, and they were right. But what struck me most wasn't her technical abilities or the legal work she had done. It was her dedication to making life easier for the women in her firm and industry by promoting work-life balance, encouraging diversity, and helping other women advance in their careers. And why did she do that? Because she had lived it. As a woman rising through the ranks 
in a competitive male-dominated industry, she knew exactly what other women were struggling with. And so she used what she learned to benefit others in her role. What are the key challenges, struggles, turning points in your life? Learn from them and bring those learnings into what you do so you can feel more purposeful and fulfilled. Which brings me to the final, but perhaps most important way you can show up with purpose. Purpose is fundamentally about service. True purpose isn't about you. It's about what you do for others. I recently enrolled in a leadership course. I thought it would help me sharpen my leadership skills and push my career forward. What I didn't expect was a profound shift in how I understood leadership. The course wasn't about how to become a better leader for my own advancement. It was about how to become a better leader for the sake of others. And it really pushed me to ask myself, how am I inspiring, mentoring, coaching, lifting others up around me? It wasn't about my personal accolades, promotions, or climbing to the top. It was about how I could help others grow and succeed in their careers. Now, I know we can expect to find wisdom on purpose from CEOs or best-selling authors, but sometimes the most inspiring lessons come from TikTok. Yes, TikTok. There's this office coordinator that I follow, and honestly, she is a masterclass in living with purpose. Her job is the everyday stuff, scheduling meetings, emptying the coffee machine, ordering breakfast for the team, but she does it with such intention and heart. She posts videos about how she wants to make sure the team have everything they need so they can be their best at work. And you can really feel how much she cares about serving others. So it reminds us that purpose isn't tied to a leadership position or a flashy title. It's how you show up in the everyday moments to make someone else's day better. So if like I was, you're wondering, should I quit my job? Whatever your ultimate answer to that question, I wanna urge you to consider this. How are you showing up with purpose today? Are you using your strengths, leaning into your life experiences, and ready to serve others in a way that only you can. Because true purpose isn't about the titles or roles we hold, it's about how we show up in them. Thank you.